Now we're going to talk about barrier blocks. As you'll see, barrier blocks are invisible blocks. So in the game itself, it just does the wire frame. Uh, when you're actually holding a barrier block, it's going to look like uh, the wire frame with this kind of no symbol in, the, in between. But basically, they're just going to be uh, invisible blocks. And they prohibit players from going through places. Um, you can kind of surround them. Um, it's just a, another type of containment in a way or prohibiting, you know, players from interfering or messing with things without having to use allow, deny, or border blocks. Um, it, it just kind of protects things um, if you want to. protect protects areas where you want them to go or not go. And it's invisible. So uh, let's go ahead and look at those. It's a little bit different. Uh, it's actually not in your inventory. So let's look at how to do that. All right, as I said earlier, it's not in your inventory, and I'll just prove it to show you. I'll type in E and start typing in barrier. And the only thing I was going to get was a, was a barrel. So it's not there. So where do you get this thing, and how do you, how do you have it? Well, you have to do a command to give yourself it. So do a slash command, give, okay, then space. Then who are you giving it to? You could give it to other players. You could give it to yourself. I'm just going to give it to myself, so I'm going to do at S. And then, that's where you can give lots of things to yourself without having to go into the inventory. But there it is, barrier. It, it shows up. And as soon as I have enough right there, I can hit Enter. Um, I don't have to worry about the amount. It's going to give me however I need, so I just hit Enter. And ta-da, I have a barrier block. Now, you're probably wondering, Barrier blocks, do I need world builder status? Well, let's check my world builder status. I'm false, so I can place it on false. Can I place it on true? Also, okay. So that means, wait a second, if I can place it and destroy it on true and false, then when would I use it so that Somebody couldn't just destroy that area. Um, so that's when you would do the immutable world, and then that way you also are protecting areas. Um, another thing is that, you know, you could have it just so it has that invisible area. Doesn't mean students couldn't break it, but um, it kind of shows you, it kind of protects, protects it as far as like going in, in certain areas. So let's just do some border barriers right here. I'm going to build up. I can actually do it right against the item if I need to. I kind of like it how it it uh it builds or excuse me, the items move as you move, so it kind of faces you. All right, so I'll leave some unexposed. But you can see, okay, that doesn't look invisible, right? It's because I have the barrier blocks. But as soon as I switch, there it is, and I try to walk, and you can see there's that invisible block break it, okay. change my world builder, true, remember same thing, that shows it, and then can still break items. So now, probably wondering, okay, let's go to the other side, it's just protecting me from getting this, I have to break this first in order to break something else. So that's kind of one of the things that will stop you, whereas here I can just click on it and I've already broken it or because it didn't have the barrier on it. So it's kind of a, a layer of protection in a way. Um, also, it's good for placeholders and putting things. So let's say you want to extend something up to the sky or something like that, and you want to build without destroying it. And so you could place the barrier blocks, and then you wouldn't need to necessarily um, destroy the area underneath because it would just be see-through. Yeah. 
And so that way it just saves some time too from having to go back and go through all those blocks and destroy them. If I change my immutable status, let's see what uh, what happens here. So I'm just going to type in immutable space true. And now let's go down. Shows the barriers. Okay. And remember, your students don't necessarily, or you can turn off slash commands, so they wouldn't necessarily be able to get get those barriers, so they wouldn't necessarily be able to click on this and see it. So let's see as I see them. Okay, I can still destroy them. Let's change my world builder status to false. Okay, now I can't destroy them, of course, because I'm in a mutable world. I can't destroy anything. Can't build stuff either. But it puts kind of that protection area, although you wouldn't necessarily need it to have that layer. But there it is. That's as close as I can get because of those border box. And there's, of course, the one up in the sky. So, um, excuse me, the barrier blocks. I said border. Uh, so that's barrier blocks, and I hope you enjoyed these videos.